Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you all here with me today. So I did a poll on my channel this morning because I was feeling a little stuck on what I wanted to do today. And I went and walked Xena, came back and then deleted the poll because I didn't want it staying up. I'm already doing a video now. And 69% of you wanted me to work in my composition notebook glue book, which coincidentally is the one I was leaning towards working on. So I'm really happy about that. <laughs> I would have worked on whatever you guys wanted, but um, this was what I was kind of leaning towards. So I just cut out this margarita and let's see here. Let's kind of do a little flip. These are all older ones. This I'm going to actually change. Well, I put her on there and then I'm going to like add some, I want to add different eyes to her and I just had some and now I don't know where they are. Let's look in this and let's see if I have any eyeballs in my fussy cut bin. I need, I really need to, Ooh, but that's basically the same. That's not fun. Let's see. I need to, Oh, Deidre. Deidre sent me a bunch of stuff and she always sends me great images. I use her stuff in my glue books all the time. Thank you, Deidre. She has flooded um, my Facebook group with happy mail. Hold on. <clears throat> Sorry, that was not a good sound. Um, these are those stickers that I used in my sticker book from my friend Helen. Oopsie. Get off of there. I wonder if I added one of these sticker eyeballs to her, if that would be funny. <laughs> Let's try it. Which ones do I want to use? Let's see. Maybe blue. Let's just see if that looks good on her. Ooh, not with a red eye. Let's just see. With a cover. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> Why not? Should I give her two different colored eyes? That'd be silly, wouldn't it? Let's see. Let's give her a... She can be like me and be a green-eyed lady. Green-eyed lady. <laughs> she looks like she's been doing cocaine or something. Okay. Not that I would know what that's like. Literally. I have no idea. Okay. Putting those aside. That's freaking hilarious. Some of you will hate that and I don't really care because it's my glue book. <laughs> Just kidding. You know I care. Okay. So moving on. Sorry. All right. So... Let's see what else I've done. Oh, yeah, I did this page. That one's fun. So fun. Giving me totally big random vibes. I'm using this as like a big random glue book, but I'm just using a, a composition notebook instead of my, my other ones. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, yeah, love this page. Sorry, it, it kind of helps me to look through a little bit so I can kind of get pumped and get some inspiration. Does anybody else do that? Mm. These two pages, these two pages. Let's see, feel something. Oh yeah, I love my elephant page. Um, Yep, love these. Okay, starting to get excited. Ooh, I love this page. Oh no, it's like some glue got. That was probably a horrible sound, sorry. <laughs> okay, love that page. Okay. Oh my gosh, why did I put avocados right here? Those look like his balls. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? Okay. okay. Ooh, love this one. Oh, my granny. I love my granny. That's so cute. Okay, and these I have, I want to add to these. So hold on. Where did my, where did my lady go? I just had a lady. Oh wait, maybe it's in this. I, you guys, my room is a disaster. Disaster. Ooh, I kind of want to add like her to something. So I have her there. And then I had a dude. Oh yeah, him. I could put him like right here. Yeah, I like the lady better. Okay, I need to fussy cut later today and then I'll have more stuff to play with. Okay, what's going on down here? Oh yeah, my beachy page. I even use stickers. That's so I normally don't do that. That was fun. Oh, just did this one recently. I don't think I did it on camera. I just think I did it for me. Okay, well, that was fun. Oops, I didn't I didn't round this corner. Let's do that. Okay, let's see. Let's 
close the book and let's just kind of flip it open and see where I land. I don't like this page. <laughs> you guys, this is what I had to ask you what to do today. I'm feeling, ooh, this page lays really flat. Love that. Okay, let's look through, not this one, not that one. This one, because these are where all my square cuts are. Ooh, maybe I should do something like all pink. All you people that hate pink are going to be like, ew, don't do it. You know what? I don't think I will do all pink, but I do like just having a bunch of random. I like random things. Ooh, I have a bunch of dogs and a wolf. Maybe I could do a dog. Maybe I'll do a dog page on this side. Do I have any more dogs? I mean, do I have any more dogs? Of course I do. I just don't know where they are. Got a crocodile. Oh, here's one. So I was just walking Xena and <laughs> I saw the coolest thing. I'll try and add it here. So I have never just been walking, you know, or been outside and seen a snail with the shell, like obviously, because snails have shells, walking across the sidewalk before. And not just like a little tiny one, like the shell was like, you know, that big or something. So I stopped and took a picture of it. And there was this guy walking behind me and he went to walk in the street. And I wish he would have just kind of stayed there instead of like being right by me. But anyway, so I continued to walk after I took the picture. He was kind of a little ways behind me. And then, oh, there's a little cat. Then all of a sudden I could hear him walking and he's like really close to me, like right behind me. Just made me feel so uncomfortable. I just, you know... I've spoken before about being a domestic violence survivor. It was a very long time ago, but it's like that stuff doesn't leave you. And when men walk up behind you, like you can hear their boots and you're outside, there's nobody else around. And I'm like, don't do that to women. Is it just me? Like, don't walk up behind women like that. Like I had a guy one time when I was putting Jackson in a car seat at Walmart and he came up out of nowhere, like right up behind me. Now I'm crunched, you know, in the door because it's like cold and rainy and stuff. Okay, I'm done digging for dogs. Um, and he comes up like right up behind me and asks me for money or something. And I was like, do not ever walk up on a woman like that. Correction, what I meant to say was, please don't ever walk up behind a mother because I had a young baby with me. It was terrifying. Anyways, back to the thing so anyways yeah that was crazy um i'm sure the guy was really nice and everything um nothing against him it's just gosh man don't walk up behind women so close like that it's so weird i just don't like it so anyways i let him pass because i wasn't about that life all right so maybe i'll just do this like kind of animally kind of thing mixed with other things let's just start gluing how long am I into this video? Oh my gosh, I'm so far into this video and I haven't glued a single thing down. All right, move aside. So I was really excited to see that snail. I don't know, it's fun when you're walking around in nature and you see like random things like that. It's pretty cool. And then this morning when I was driving Jackson to school, you know, we always listen to music and I try and make it like I don't know. I want to keep a, him. I always want him to have a good day. So I try and be very positive and happy in the car. And, you know, we sing and dance and stuff. Um, and then I Love Rock and Roll came on. I love rock and roll. Oh, my gosh. I love that song so much. And I totally jammed out on my way home. I am one of those people that will crazy sing and dance in the car like my arms are flying and I get all into it <laughs> I don't care I mean sometimes I do like I don't want people looking at me but then again I'm like whatever so anyways I was singing and jamming and it made me think of my best friend because my best friend is so cool that she's the lead singer in a band and it used to be her father's band and she used to get up and sing with him sometime, or all the time, actually. Um, and he loved it. Oh, my gosh. Did his face beam when his little baby girl got up there? And she's an only child. So, um, and then her mom's always out in the on the dance floor with all their friends. And I mean, they're just cool people. Anyways, once her dad passed away, 
um, a few years ago. Actually, I think it's been like six years now. Oh gosh, I can't even believe it. If you don't know, I met my best friend when we were in third grade. So I've known her family for a very long time. Um, so yeah, her dad was just one of those people that was taken way too soon. And he was such a nice guy. Oh my gosh. So anyways, long story short, she's a lead singer in that band now. And, um, she sings that song. That was my whole point. <laughs> this whole long rambling uh, thing here. It's, yeah. So I always think of her when I jam out to that song in the mornings. Or in, whenever. But I was jamming out this morning to it. And let's see. What else? I have been so productive today. Um, so far. And it's still morning time. So I also did. Let's see. Andrew marinated a roast last night and he's gonna shred it for tacos today and my house smells I don't I can't even tell you how good it smells my house smells so good and when I came back from my walk with Zena I could really smell it so he marinated it left me instructions and then I tossed it in the crock pot this morning there really wasn't any instructions other than to add seasoning if I wanted he said and throw it in the crock pot but it smells so good this is a new recipe which reminds me, I need to go to the store because I need to get him some tomatillos to make um, homemade salsa to go with it tonight because he, he requested that. Okay. I, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm very discombobulated today. Okay, let's see. I need more images. Need more stuff. Maybe I should just do animals in general. Why did I put all the dogs right by each other? I got I got that this bird. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. It's such a cool photo. So I got a bird. I could just add some colored background pieces. Maybe that's what I'll do. That might help me. Let's see. So I took a bunch of magazine things and I've been or magazine pages. Here we go. And when I see blocks of color, like for instance, this page, if I didn't use all of her, I would save this and I cut them up into little rectangles and stuff so I can use those in my blue book as well. So I have quite a few of those in different colors that I've been cutting out. Or like when you cut out, fussy cut something and then you have extra, I just use that. Here's another one. Oops, here's some lips. What are those doing in there? Okay. So there's those. Let's add some of these. I think that will kind of help me. And then should I put the bird right here? Should I put the bird over here? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I do think I'm going to cut the bird down just a hair so I don't cover up so much of the other little doggy there. So let's see, let's cut about that much off that side and I have to make it even. I know, I got issues. There we go. It's even-ish. Oh my gosh, I cut it just perfect to go to the edge. Ooh, had I cut any more, I would have been mad at myself. I didn't even think about that. Okay, moving on. Sherman snoring. I got ready to do, finally got ready to do a video. I swear to God, you guys, trying to get anything done with two dogs in the house, I just, I can't. <laughs> it's so hard. They want my attention so much. And like, one has to go out, then the other needs to go out, and then one wants something. And then I sat down. Oh, shoot. Why did I do that? Um, I sat down to record this video, and then all of a sudden I heard Sherman gagging and he was laying right next to me and uh, and then he barfed, which is not unusual for Sherman. Okay, I think I wanna add like, where did that piece go? I had a longer, I just wanna add some pops of color. So where'd that go? Here it is. My cute little mini trimmer. Love this thing. I think I have like a screw loose in my... Oh, of course I cut it too short. I'm such a goof. 
Hmm. Why did I do that? Okay, I lied. You know what I want to add in between? I got an idea. I want to add some washi. I have cats. These are, I like to use my Dollar Tree washi in my composition notebooks. I don't know why I'm very specific about it, but I do. Where'd my cute little dogs go? Oh, here's some more dogs. Okay, I got a dog here. These are not the dogs I was thinking of though. So where are those? All right, I need to cut it off right at this dog's little snout. Sorry, didn't mean to cut off your nose. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue to this just because washi tape isn't meant to stay forever. I mean, Dollar Tree washi does pretty good. It's a little thicker than some of the others, but okay, let's put that there. That's fun. My favorite part, cutting off the edges. Oh my gosh, I don't know why I love that so much, but I do. Okay. So I got my washi down. I'm just going to give it a little squish of And then let's add some cat washi. Where's my dog washi that I wanted? This is so bizarre. Hmm. Um, where should I put some cat washi? Maybe on this side? Oh my gosh, this would be the cutest little sticker. Maybe I'll add this. Okay, hold on. I need, where's my wax paper? I need something to put, oh, I know. I'll use this leftover sticker paper or the ones that I've already used. Okay, I'm gonna save that little piece of washi because I might use that. Okay, then what was I gonna do? I was gonna do, wait, where to go? Dog and a wolf. Let's do that. Okay, so I'm gonna put my wolf down first. Okay, my husband needs to screw in this. I think I have a, <laughs> I just said that, but I think I have a screw loose in my chair because every time I wiggle my butt, it makes that weird noise. By the way, eh, I weighed myself this morning, I know, no fun, right? Well, so I was vegan for five years. Um, I've been not vegan now for almost two, I think. Wow, that went by really fast. Um, and I gained 60 pounds while I was vegan. But in all fairness, it was also during, you know, a pandemic and stuff. So everybody gained weight. So part of it could have been from that too. But that's a lot of weight. I'm really short, so having extra weight is just not good. And I have fibro, so you know any extra weight is just not good. So I'm working on getting that back down. And granted, that didn't happen overnight. It's been over the course of many years, right? Um, but I'm down 30 pounds, so I'm really, ex really, really excited about that. And I haven't really been trying all that hard. It's just finally starting to come off. I mean, I walk. Um, I also don't, I don't eat a ton, but it's not like I'm starving myself or anything. We eat good, good food. You hear what we talk about, what we eat. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. I was really proud of myself when I jumped on the scale this morning. Okay. What else do I have? Uh, what does this say? To embrace new beginnings. Ooh. No. Okay. Moving on. I want to add this kitty. Oh, it would have fit perfect. Why did I do that? Okay, well, can I get it up now? I did glue it, so probably not. No, crap. Crap on a cracker. All right, well, I'm gonna put it right here then. All right, come here, cute little kitten. Right. Whoa, Sherman's really snoring now. He's a tired baby. All right, and uh-oh, I ran out of animals. Okay, moving on, let's go back. I'm sure I have some more in here. The problem is I have my images like everywhere. I really need a professional organizer to come in and just help me. 
Like, I love organizing and stuff. I just feel very overwhelmed in life right now. So I just don't. I just saw a tiger. There it is. I have a tiger. Okay. You know what? I'm over it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is add these. And then I'm going to go. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Then I'm going to go through and see if I have, like, fussy cut images that are. I need to cut a little bit off of this. We actually had some rain today, which is so weird because it's been like in the 90s for weeks. Um, now the sun's starting to come out. It's super bright. Okay, let's put that right there. Eh. Oh my gosh, my son's roast smells so good. <laughs> and to eat with our tacos tonight. He's gonna make homemade tortillas. That little thing, he's so cute. All right, we're spoiled. I told Andrew he should go to cooking school because he loves it and he's so good at it, but that's just not what he's into. That does not sound, oh, I forgot I have my little tiger. Oh, he fits right here, that's so perfect. Okay, let's do that. Ah, my phalange got stuck. All right, let's put this one right here. Oops. A little crooked. Get up there. Okay. Oh my gosh, my chair is driving me nuts. Boop. Okay. So we have that. Now let's see if I have any cute little, I'm gonna put a lid on my, oh wait, I need to do, I, what I was thinking right here is adding some washi right here and down here, but maybe I'll just add like, oh well. Okay, so let's add these. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can this be added somewhere like I mean I don't really care about her yeah let's do it who cares about her no offense little girl or lady whatever you are little girl rather have the dog than you okay So cute. Gosh, I love animals. Animals just make me happy. Okay, there we go. I need something right here. Oh, I need to cut this off. And Jackson is going to be starting... Um, going to a gym we have here i was gonna and i don't, I don't want to say now i just realized that i'd be saying where my son would be going and that's probably not a good idea anyways um he's gonna be doing some martial arts like uh mma fighting with his friend his dad's friend or his friend's da his dad's friend his friend's dad is an mma fighter um and he his friend has been practicing martial arts and mma style uh f for his whole life and so he's really excited that jackson wants to participate so jackson's thinking about trying it out seeing if he likes that okay i want something here and i really wanted that one washi but i just don't know where it is um let's see i'm gonna look one more time and see if i can Maybe I should add like a, f no, no, I'm not. Okay. I need more stuff for this page. So I'm going to move on. I will finish it another time, but I do want to add these bagels. So let's see. I'm wondering if I should cut all this stuff too. Okay. I need like a full, so I was kind of wondering like what, it, no. Okay. I also have this. 
this piece that I cut out. Do you like that? Okay, let's do that. Okay, so what I need to do is glue this down first. Okay, let's do that. And I'm just gonna use this piece of paper right here that I've had. Gluing full pages is not my favorite thing. I'm sure it's not anybody's favorite thing. It can be very difficult to get a full page down without wrinkles and such, but this is how I do it. I do little sections at a time. And let's just get that in there. Pat it down a little bit there. Do another section. Pulled out some extra glue sticks before this. All right, that one's toast. There we go. So in this, in that basket, you saw me kind of looking through. Um, I like to pull out full images or magazine images that don't have, you know, writing on them and stuff that I can use as backgrounds, like this one. And there we go. So it looks like I break this up into about third or fourth stages, three or four stages of gluing. Instead of like adding glue to the whole page, the problem is some of it dries and you don't always see where you didn't put it. And when you do it in little stages, it's easier for there to be less air bubbles, at least for me. That's how it works for me. Okay, so then I pulled this out. Where's this? Okay, so this is where Okay. Get the air out. Ooh, did you hear that little snap? That's what I'm looking for. That was an air pocket. That was a big one. Okay, so go around the edges, make sure those are all down really good. Of course, I got glue like right there. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit aside and dry and then put the lid on here. I'm going to break out my craft mat, keep my little sticker kitty over there. And where did I add my X-Acto knife? All right, let's cut out these bagel holes because that'll look nice being able to see through to the page underneath. All right, so with my magazine pages, it's so easy to cut into a composition book, the pages when you're cutting with scissors because it's thin paper. So I like to use my X-Acto blade to cut around unless it, um, there's pages on the other side, which makes the paper thicker. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. But you cut your papers however you feel works good. I'm super excited. I just ordered a bunch of magazines from my friend Malia. Um, she had a sale on her YouTube channel the other day. Lovely Malia is her YouTube channel. And she was selling a bunch of vintage magazines and other books and stuff, which, hello, we are all suckers for that. Okay, maybe not all of us, but a large majority of us are suckers for that. So I'm so excited to get those in. They're really old, so I got, I can't remember what I got. Um, I think two are Better Homes and Garden and four or five or something else. I got seven magazines from her. So I want to make a glue book just for all my old uh, magazine clippings and stuff. So I have four magazines I bought a couple, like a year and a half ago or so. And I've never cut into them because, you know, it's hard sometimes to cut into stuff like that. But I need to. I need to do it. I can't save them forever. I'm sure if, you know, they were just end up in a landfill. So I, I'm gonna cut them up. I know. I looked through them this morning, just a tiny bit. Um, basically I was kind of looking where I put them to make sure they were still where I had them. 
and uh huh that doesn't look as cool like you don't see the pops of color as much hmm okay well maybe i just need to cut her out and put her right here save my bagels for another page so let's see Let's, do I want to like, yeah, I think I better full on fussy cut. You guys are like, oh my gosh. I'm very scatterbrained today. I'm sure you can tell. So this morning I got out my coffee creamer and I wanted to microwave my coffee creamer a little bit before I put my coffee in. And so I... I had a brand new coffee creamer, so I opened it up or whatever, and I put my cup in the microwave and I put it on for just a few seconds. And I came back and I took my cup out and I realized I had opened up my creamer, put the cap back on and put it back in the fridge without putting any creamer in my cup. Put my cup in the microwave and, and microwaved an empty cup. It was my Golden Girls cup too, so I'm so glad. What was on the other side of this? Eh, I like this page better. Um, I'm so glad nothing happened to it, but yeah, I'm just so oof, scatterbrained. I actually feel really anxious today. Like I'm kind of having a lot of anxiety and I don't really know why. I feel okay. I have been go, go, go since I got up. So maybe that's kind of part of the problem. After this, I'll go rest. But playing in my glue book helps me tremendously. Okay. Oh gosh, that's her hair. Well, I'm gonna cut it off. Sorry to cut off your hair. It's gorgeous. Okay. Yep, I like her way better. Okay, yep, that's happening. Okay, glue stick, let's toss that one. It's a goner. All right, babe, let's get you glued down. Does anybody here like scary movies? My husband doesn't like them. My oldest son, Andrew, isn't a fan of them, but Jackson will watch them with me. He, he likes that kind of stuff. I wanna see that black phone or whatever that's called. I guess it's supposed to be super scary. So I told Jack, I'm like, will you watch that with me? I'm like, we can totally watch it um, during the day. And he's like, I'll watch that at night. I'm like, here's the thing, bro. You better not be coming in my room in the middle of the night <laughs> being all terrified because we watched that scary movie at night. And he's like, oh, please. So hmm, we'll see. Oh, shh. <laughs> You need to be very careful with these when you're working with magazine. That's why I use my rag usually. I've been so used to using, um, working with paper that I forget. I need to be more gentle. That's all right. I can fix that. Look at this. I'm a mess, you guys. Okay, there we go. She's cute. She cute. All right, so let's cut off her. Oh. I didn't even need to cut it, it just ripped because it was stuck to my table. Oh my gosh, did you just hear my stomach rumble? Whoa. And see, I just went into my book a little bit right there. Darn it, oh well. It's not like you can really tell. Just gonna stick that right there. Boop. All right. Now, I need to add some stuff to her. Go back to my fussy cut basket. Um, what can I add to her? I do love this margarita. Love the pop of color. I mean, what the hell? Let's do it. Let's add a margarita. Margarita. I like my margaritas on the rocks. 
if I ever have one. I'm not a huge drinker. But I do like a margarita on the rocks. No salt. I know. No salt, though. None for me, thanks. I need to make it so my lemon doesn't go, or my lime doesn't go off the edge. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I wanted that closer to the bottom, but I feel like if I moved it anymore, I would rip it. Especially with my track record today. Everything has gone wrong in this glue book page, or my glue book session. Oh. Not necessarily wrong. We'll say it's gone not as planned. We'll say that. We don't want that negative energy. Keeping it positive. Okay. I need to add more stuff. So let's see. What else? This is one of the watches Levi sent me. I like have been hoarding these. I used one so far. Ooh, maybe some perfume. Bacon. Oh, I love this apple. And my poor little stem is hanging on by a thread. That's that's too much. Okay. What's this say? Or what's this? Oh. Jeans. I got a bunch of jeans. A chair. Some asparagus. Ooh, I've got a got a mustache. Uh, this model is going to look at this and be like, bro, you did me so dirty. Not cool. That's a wrap. That's kind of cool. Ooh, I love this because of the bright colors. Could put that like that so it covers up my little... Take that mustache off of her. She's too cute for that. Let's add... Um, what I was going to do to cover that was add words right here, but I might add this lipstick. I like, that's a wrap. What else do I have? People. Joust do it. That was for a jousting tournament thing. Um, got some rings. I want some rings on my margarita. Some Listerine. Does your breast stink? Let's see. What's this? Oh, yeah, this is funny. I don't think there was ever a night when Nikki didn't go out. She's been going out ever since, every single night of her life. I think I need to add that. Maybe add some rings down here. I don't know. Okay, I like that. The reason why I cut this out is because my name is Nicole. I go by Nikki a lot of the time, and that's how I spell my name. N-I-K-K-I. -K -K no, that does not fit. Was that upside down? No. Does anybody else just sit here and just kind of play and kind of look and see what everything... Um, Ooh, because you know these moments don't last forever, own the ones that do. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah. Do I not want that there? I don't know. Okay. I'm going to glue this. Feeling good about that. And I could add this lipstick, like, kind of going over that little blank space right there. Let's do that. Wow, Sherman's going to town now. He is relaxed. Such a cute little baby. I love my Puggy Wuggy. If you are a Glue Crew member, I posted a video this weekend of me making a fall glue book with my handmade papers coffee dyed, uh, colorful papers. Go ahead and go check that out if you didn't know that was over there. Um, what else? What's this say? I kind of wanted something behind this, but I wasn't really sure. Oh, I have like a tarot card. The Emperor. Wish I had one that said like the Empress. 
Another World Cupcake. Sometimes you just have to dig through your stuff and find stuff that, like, you know, makes you feel like you want to use it. I don't know. Let's see. Ooh, is this a guitar? Ooh. Love that. Okay. Got to use that on something. There's only you. Kind of like that. Women's orgasms. I don't know why I cut that out. It was just so weird. I'd never seen that in a magazine before, so I did. <laughs> don't know if I'm ever going to use it. Ooh, what's it say? Sheer genius. No. Some hands. Oh, I like this one. It says, get lit. Yeah. Time to party. And by party, I mean stay at home and glue book. <laughs> Let's put that right here. Get lit. Actually, I don't want it. I want it more like this. There we go. Okay, let's add Nikki's thing on here. This girl's name is now Nikki. Ah. That's the funny thing about this too, is like my best friend, she loves doing things, going out, doing stuff all the time. I do not. I like to be indoors, at least at this junction of my life. I love being a homebody. It just is my jam. Okay, so I need to go through some of my other, oh, here's a little dog for that page. That's what I was looking for is like little fussy cut. Um, but I don't want to be running around my craft room trying to find stuff while I'm on here. So I just thought I'd look through these buckets and use what I could find in here. YouTube, clean. Sometimes I cut out words like this just because they're bright and colorful. I just like the color pop. Oh, another dog. I knew I had some. You guys are probably screaming at me in the through the screen that you saw those dogs as I was flipping through and I didn't. Okay, well, you know what? I don't need to add much more to this. I just thought maybe there would be a little something. And with these books, like I go through and if I see something I know will go on another page, like these two dogs that I found, I will go back and add more to the page. I don't want to sit and stress over a page when nothing is working for me in the moment. You know what I mean? Okay. Oh, I forgot I wanted to put this. There's only you. And I have quotes and words coming out the wazoo. I should do a page where I just have, I use just quotes and words from magazines. I've never done that. Okay, where was that dog page again? Oh, right here. That's right. So I wanted to add... I'm going to add this one, right? Actually, it kind of should be at the bottom, though. You know what? It doesn't have to be anything. It's just for fun. There's no right or wrong. Sometimes you just have to say these affirmations out loud and remind yourself, it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. There's no wrong or right way. Do I like that it hangs off like that? No, I don't. Not at all. In fact, so much so, I think I might move it. Can I move it? Oh my gosh. What if I put it like right here? Yeah, I'm going to move him like right there. And then that way I could put like a word right here. That, that makes me feel better. There, see, it bothered me, so I moved it. Now I'm not bothered. Okay, now I have this little dog. I think I'll put him right there. Oh my gosh, this is turning out so cute. I need to find more of my little animals. Aw, look at that. See, it's coming together. And then I can add a word right here. Um, I'm gonna let all this glue dry for a minute. But yeah, okay guys. Well, thanks for hanging out with me while I played in this a little bit. I know it's a bit discombobulated. I still need to add something right here and I need to add some words. Um, I'm gonna let the glue dry that I, I just put all over here. It's gotta be careful because if I lick it away, sometimes the magazine image comes off. There we go, yeah. Okay, and then I have this page and then I just need to add another piece of paper here for something. Yeah, I don't actually think I'm done with this page either. I kind of think it would be funny to add maybe something coming out of the margarita glass, but I definitely need to go through all my images and kind of put more in the box that I use and um, do some harvesting. But, oh, this was fun hanging out with you guys today. Thank you so much. I feel a lot better now. 
I'm gonna go clean up and rest. I didn't even end up using the bagels, but I'm going to. I have a whole basket here of backgrounds, and so I'm gonna add those on. And I'll either do that on camera or show you guys. And oh my gosh, why weren't you yelling at me that I missed that bagel? Were you yelling at me and I didn't hear you? I am so sorry. I need to cut out that bagel before I forget and glue it down. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a fabulous day and a great week. And until next time, bye.